Morgan. I'm a mother first and an entrepreneur second. Hey Morgan. How are you? I'm good, nice to see you. I'm glad you made this your first destination. I'm excited to look. I'm here in Orlando looking for a spot for my flagship beauty school and salon suites for More by Morgan. I plan on becoming the queen pin of the beauty industry of Orlando, Florida. This would be the boss's office. I love the chandelier. And also a bathroom, too. So the queen of the layer gets home a bathroom, too? That's At right. work, I like that. <laughs> I was out the other night. I've been getting eyes, looks, left and right. Where'd you get it from your mama? I get it from my mama. Maybe That's we could go out enjoy. together. I don't know about all of that. that. We could find stepdaddy and granddaddy in the same setting. <laughs> <laughs> my mom is definitely my rock. I can always count on her for laughs, advice, and absolutely when I need her most. I can talk to my mom literally about anything from A to Z, and no judgment will be passed. <laughs> Welcome to Every Berry Land. Oh my God! <laughs> I'm still reeling from my meetup with Ashley the other night, but in between this Ashley situation and my ex husband trying to get out of taking care of our children, it's taken a lot of work to keep a smile on my face. But today is my baby's 12th birthday celebration. So I'm gonna do everything in my power to make sure she has the best birthday party and provide it with the best ever. How much is all this cost? Don't worry about the money. I go way more harder for my kids now that the situation has become ugly between my ex and I. So I feel like it is my job to provide them with the stability, the happiness, the mental space that they need. I'm gonna always do that. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks for the tea, Mom. You're welcome. How does it feel being in Orlando? It feels good. It's a little rainy. Since I've been here, it's been wild. Has it? Just been getting into it for everybody. Oh, with the folks who were your so-called associates and friends? Mm-hmm. OK, well, have you managed to work it out? That's work okay. it out? Yeah. Well, who needs who it needs to be worked out with? OK. But the, I've been here with Danielle, Lindsay. We've been kicking it. OK. Trying to keep it cool. Mm hmm Oh, no. Just everything I've been going through with I feel like I play a part in them um, being in the situation that they're in between and I because the reason that we can't co-parent well is because we can't get along, you know? He don't like me and I don't like him. Mm. Well, you know, I call your light switch. I've been off and on forever. And honestly, I never thought you guys would get to this point. But it is what it is. My ex and I, we wanted to provide something for our kids that we didn't have in our own life, which was a two-parent household. And my family not working out is very disappointing to me. I guess maybe the reason I kept fighting was because I was afraid of abandonment again. I know the situation between <clears throat> you and my dad, and I've always blamed you for it. You know, and I, I realized. I didn't realize that I was resenting you for something that you just chose to be strong about. And it took you to tell me, like, you can't make him be a dad. And, and I believe my words back to you were, no, you can't. And I should have never said that to you. It's OK. I have a real fear of abandonment because my dad turned his back on our family before I was even here. He already had a family that my mom had no clue about. He never even gave me a chance to be his daughter. And although I had male figures in my life, there's nothing like the love of a biological father. After talking with my mom, I want to be extra protective about my children's well-being. I want to make sure that they are doing okay emotionally, especially my daughter, Ariana, because she's 12 now and she's approaching those crucial teen years. Are you excited to go to the seventh grade? No. No? <laughs> Why? because everything's gonna get harder. Oh, am I, I gonna have to force you to go to tutoring again this year? No. It's a great answer. Are you nervous about tryouts for gymnastics? Yeah. It's been a while. I know. It's been like Has it been feeling years. back familiar, though? Yeah. What other sport are you gonna do? Because you know I told you you gotta do one more. Why are you looking like that? Because I don't know. You gotta do something else. You are not busy enough with just gymnastics. As a teen, I was my mom's problem child because I was really trying to figure out who I was as a person. 
and I wanted to explore things outside of family because I felt like my family wasn't whole. So from that, my mom and I did butt heads a little bit and that put a strain on our relationship that we're just now mending as I am an adult. What are you most excited about being in Orlando? Being with you. Being with mama? Oh, that's so biased. <laughs> I love it here. <laughs> I've kind of gotten used to dad being away. That's how you feel now? Yeah. For my daughter to be at that point in her life, I don't want her to feel like the abandonment of her father is meaning that she will be abandoned for the rest of her life because I have experienced that fear as well. You're just learning how to navigate through, huh? Yeah. Right now, I would like for my daughter to keep open that line of communication and to always tell me how she's feeling. So even if we do cross that road later on in life, I'll know how to handle it and answer questions that she really wants honest answers to. Sissy! Sissy! Sissy Poo! <laughs> so I have two siblings. My brother is the oldest. I am the messy middle. And Lisa is my little sister, but she acts like the big sister. We've always been close, and she can sense when I need her most. And today is one of those days. What's going on with the kids and everything? The kids are good. But, you know, uh, one of the girls here leaked my address. And their dad had a proctor serve me here in Orlando. Mm. He's trying to say he can't afford to pay his child support no more. You gonna be seeing him a little more? He ain't seeing him. Well, I ain't never seen that, him for his birthday. But... I mean, you done seen him more than he done seen him in one. Mm. You wanna come sit over here? No, I'm okay. But you're not. I know. Who wanna talk to me? I know they've been waiting on him to come get him. Get them. But M's barely even know you, but he know you his daddy. And you just abandoned him again. Abandoned all three of them without even saying goodbye. Honestly, it's not just about child support. It's about him not being there as a present father and not knowing what's going on in their day-to-day -day life. It's very triggering for me. I have my own abandonment issues with my dad, and now it's happening to my kids, which was my worst fear. It may feel like it's wrong right now, but this ain't the end of the road. You gotta think of the bigger picture. That's my reminder every day to not give up on myself. That God saved me for a bigger purpose, and that purpose was that I had kids at home depending on me. We here for you too. I want you to tell me, like, when you're feeling like this. I need you to let me know, like, sister, this is what's going on. Like, promise me this. What's up, Morgan? How you doing? Good, how are you? Yeah, come on in. Y'all have this a seat. This is my sister, I'm... Lisa. Lisa. Yes. Good to meet you, Lisa. The promise I made to my sister included a promise in return. If you want me to promise to always call you, your promise to go and get a matching tattoo. <laughs> come on, help me out. <laughs> no, you're gonna get your ass tatted. Okay. So I made sure to book appointments ASAP so Lisa doesn't try to leave town and skip out on this tattoo. So tell me the purpose of this tattoo. What's going on in life? We're making promises to each other. Okay. Right. Just to reach out, just to check in. Um, we always know we're not always strong, but this is gonna be my promise to my sister, her promise to me. I promise? promise not to give up on myself or let y'all down. That's awesome. So y'all have to decide who's going first. What do you think? Oh my God, you ain't gonna leave her hanging, are you? She better know or she gonna get beat up today. Uh-oh. The last time that I gave up on myself, I didn't reach out to anyone. So I'm looking forward to this matching tattoo because it'll just serve as a constant reminder that I have a little piece of my sister with me at all times. And I can always call her whenever I need her. Ready to get this started? Yes. Let's get to it. For our matching tattoos, I decided to get the OM symbol. It's a mantra that you use at the beginning and end of meditation. It's a reminder to bring back that peaceful aura and that anything that you are going through on the outside, if you center yourself back on the inside, you'll be okay. Mm -hmm. okay. It's looking real good, mm -hmm. Sissy. Look closer. Brand it once again. <laughs>